Okay, so this is um, the cell cycle. Here's our cell. This is the cell membrane. Can't see it, but it's full of organelles. And then here's our nucleus. Here's our nuclear membrane. And inside our nucleus is DNA. So we're going to start at interphase. Remember, there is in every cell cycle's life, they go through three stages. Kind of like we go through, we're young, middle-aged, and old. The cell cycle goes through interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. So in interphase, um, mainly what happens in interphase is the cell is just doing its normal growing and daily normal activities. But there's one really important thing that happens during interphase that we can't forget about. We have to double this DNA. Before we can divide this up into two exact cells, we have to have enough DNA for two cells. So what happens during interphase is all of this DNA makes a copy of itself. So we double the DNA. So we have two copies of all of the DNA. Now we've got enough to divide this nucleus into two nucleus, two nuclei. That happens in mitosis. So now we move into mitosis. The first phase in mitosis is prophase. In prophase, the first thing that happens is the nuclear membrane disappears. Then all this DNA, which was once loose and hanging out, starts to condense and, and twist up. And it forms these condensed DNA things called chromosomes. So these chromosomes are formed. We're still in prophase. Another thing that happens in prophase is that these centrioles appear and they migrate to the opposite ends of the cell. So they're kind of like anchors and they send out these spindle fibers and these spindle fibers are going to attach to each chromosome. So every chromosome is going to have one spindle fiber attaching to one centriole and then another spindle fiber attaching to the other centriole. And that would happen on every single one of these. I'm not going to show every single one, but that's, that would happen on every chromosome. So now we're at the end of prophase. So we've had four things happen in prophase. The nuclear membrane disappears, chromosomes form, centrioles go to opposite sides of the cell, and then spindle fibers form. So four things happen in prophase. Then we move to metaphase. In metaphase, M is for middle. Metaphase, middle. So these chromosomes all move to the middle of the cell. And they're still attached. Every chromosome still has that spindle fiber attached. So that's the end of metaphase. They move to the middle in metaphase. Then anaphase is where they come apart. A is for anaphase. A is for apart. Now these centrioles shorten and pull apart each one of these chromosomes. So it's pulling them each apart. So half of it goes to this centriole, half of it goes here. Pull this guy apart. Pull this guy apart. So in anaphase, they're pulled apart. Then you're into telophase. And in telophase, we've got a couple of things that happen. First, the spindle fibers and the centrioles disappear. So we're left with two groups of DNA. Then two nuclear membranes form around those groups of DNA. So now we've made two exact nuclei. They're exactly the same. Now we're done with mitosis and we move into that third stage which is called cytokinesis. In cytokinesis, this is the cell membrane. The cell membrane starts to pinch in and then it breaks off and it forms two identical daughter cells. So this is the kind of division that happens in our skin cells every day, or if you have an injury and you have to regenerate cells, or in your hair cells. These are cell this is the kind of division that happens in our body every day, all the time. Um, and those are all of the phases.